it really isn't that difficult. All it takes is a little mishap and things can quickly get turned upside down out on the water and get a little out of control, just like some of the incidents we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the coast of Nigeria, where this dramatic footage shows the Trinity Spirit oil tanker after an explosion occurred and the vessel caught on fire. The Trinity Spirit is an FPSO vessel, which is a floating production and storage vessel, and it's owned by Nigeria's Sheba Exploration Production Company. The vessel apparently is capable of storing approximately 2 million barrels of oil and can process up to about 22,000 barrels a day. At the time of the incident, it has been confirmed by the owners of the vessel there were approximately 10 crew members on board. At this time, three crew members had been recovered through search and rescue efforts, and unfortunately, two crew members were discovered on the deck of the vessel deceased, still leaving five missing as the search continues. At this time, the cause of the explosion is still unknown and under investigation, and it was not immediately clear how much oil was actually being held on the Trinity Spirit during the time of the incident, but the vessel's explosion could be the country's second major environmental disaster in the past few months, as back in November, another oil well blue spewing more than 20,000 barrels of oil a day into the surrounding river before they could get it cat. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to bring us back closer to stateside and over to the Bahamas. You may remember a few weeks back we talked about Crystal Cruise Lines who had actually had a court order against two of their cruise ships ordering that they be seized once they enter U.S. water due to unpaid bills. So the cruise line quickly diverted their vessels back to the Bahamas to avoid being seized here in the U.S., but this only delayed the inevitable. This past week, the Bohemian government went ahead and placed the vessels under arrest and took possession of the vessels anyway. While this was occurring, one of the crew members who were on board the vessel actually recorded the message from the captain to everybody on board, letting them know exactly what was going on. Uh, the ship has been placed under arrest by the local authorities uh, over some unpaid bills. And as bad as it sounds, it's actually a uh, quite good thing to happen. And uh, we've been told that this will not affect any personal movement, so the crew movement uh, and the crew sign-offs can still go as planned, and we are in process of preparing those. So, some unfortunate news, but it was actually quite expected. So, thank you for this, and until later. Good night. <laughs> Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Europe, and I have to ask the question, what in the world is going on with the dogs? Now, some of you may have seen this story because it's from a few weeks back, and it made worldwide headlines as the RNLI released footage of the moment they rescued a dog that had survived a 100-foot fall off of a cliff. Hello, buddy. Hello. Max, Max. One of the things that made this story so incredible was Max the Border Collie somehow fell 100 foot from the cliff and after that managed to swim to an area where the New Haven RNLI could actually rescue him. And upon visual inspection, it appears the dog somehow made it through all of this completely unharmed, which is absolutely astonishing. And the RNLI crew seen here was successful in getting the dog off the beach and returned to its family. You might get a little bit wet, Max. Okay. Hey Maxi, bet you've not done this before. There we go. All the other dogs are going to be jealous of this. That RNLI crew member at the time didn't know how true that statement was because apparently other dogs did get jealous and this is where the story turns. The exact same incident happened again this past week. An owner was walking their dog on the Ardmore Cliffs when all of a sudden the dog got into trouble and fell over a hundred foot down into the sea and the exact same thing happened. This dog swam to a safe point where the RNLI can rescue them and to their amazement when they rescued the dog, this dog was uninjured from the fall as well. And this story has the same outcome as the last one. Here the Yao Hall RNLI crew was able to successfully get this dog back to the Ardmore Pier and reunite it with its owners. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us down to Florida where everybody loves a beach day, but beach days can be full of surprises, which is what some people in Deerfield Beach and Boca Raton Beach found out this past week when they woke up to find their beaches closed. The reason for the beach closures was due to an incident that occurred overnight when the crew of the 70-foot tugboat named Sea Eagle wound up having to send out a mayday call that they were in distress and taking on water, causing this vessel and the barge that it had in tow to wind up grounded on the beaches. At the time of the overnight grounding, the 
the tug vessel had four crew members on board. The Coast Guard was able to successfully pull all four crew members off uninjured. The vessels remained on the beach for the next three days while Coast Guard and salvage crews came up with a plan to relaunch these vessels. Once the vessels were actually relaunched out into the water, they were moved over to Fort Lauderdale for the damage to be assessed and repairs to be done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know when you might see your stories over here. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.